So you're looking for a grow light that can do a lot of things, especially uh, taking a plant to fruit or blooms. I am happy to say that the uh, light that I'm testing now, right now, from Spider Farmer, the uh, SF1000 EVO, I'm getting more blooms than I can possibly imagine. And there are just dozens and dozens of fruits. I'm quickly uh, approaching about uh, 40 uh, cucumbers off of this light. And this is a compact grow. And this container is about uh, 12 inches across on the uh, inner part. And so the cucumber itself is about 12 to uh, 16 inch diameter. I am doing pruning and coiling of vines. So with the uh, spectrum coming off of this uh, 100 watt grow light, it seems to be quite suited uh, for getting additional blooms in spite of the fact that I'm using a 936 uh, complete liquid nutrient which is typically used for leafy plants. Now the uh, light itself is one that has been optimized. You notice the absence of diodes in the center and the concentration along the edges which uh, tends to produce a more even blanket of uh, light over the top of the plants instead of having a hot spot in the center of the light which can burn leaves and the benefits of that are plants that uh, just stay short compact and uh, tend to produce a lot of uh, blossoms blooms and that is something that uh, will be a benefit for indoor growers because with indoor growing, what you want to do is get the most productivity for the amount of power that you're using. So with that in mind, the uh, ability to grow fruits also is substantial. Uh, one, two, there's a three, four, uh, there's a fifth one in there someplace. Oh, it's down in there. And I uh, pulled off a sixth one earlier. So this is a uh, type of experiment that uh, will benefit a lot of gardeners because a lot of times I'm getting questions about what grow light are you using and how well does it work for you. As a matter of fact, I have it turned down from its maximum um, light intensity as well and spaced above the plant about uh, 18 inches and that uh, reflects off that back wall. It's in a corner of a room with two walls open on the other two sides but still there's enough light that comes off of that uh, fixture and bounces around that it uh, does keep these uh, plants going quite well and at the top of the light there's the uh, dimmer knob I'll try to get in on that there's the dimmer knob that I'm talking about dialing back and so overall I would say that uh, it does seem to produce a little bit more blossoms than some of the other lights that I'm using currently.